Hmm. Yeah. Mm, this makes total sense, doesn't it? This makes uh, total sense. Of course they do it, Jack Grealish. They know I'm gonna make this video. That's why they did it. Bloody rats. Visit igvault.com, the cheapest place to get your foot 21 coins on the whole internet, man. And if you do go over to IG Vault, make sure to use the code Brooksy for 6% off. Oh, baby. Link is in the description. <laughs> if you want to see a video on Jack Grealish, let me know and I'll get it done. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooksy HD, as you can see by the sign. Today, we're doing a tier list for for the second team of the Path to Glory cards, there's some absolutely incredible cards in this. I am not going to lie to you. And then there's Jack Grealish, who can just rot in a bin for all I care. As you can see, we have the tier list up here. I have managed to be able to keep the players that I put in last time. We're going to add to this. This is really, really cool. We have all the cards here. There are some absolutely fantastic ones. Let's just get straight into it. And the first player we are looking at is Alvaro Morata. I don't know why these cards don't have their dynamic images yet. It's half six. They really should do. Um... He looks all right basing it. A six foot three, he's going to feel quite clunky on the ball. I'm going to assume his balance and agility is mid to high 80s. Four star, four star, high, high. 99 finishing, that's good. 99 attack positioning, that's good. Acceleration, sprint speed, around the wrong way. Spanish, they could do quite well. Jumping and head and is really good. Agility and balance, man. It just ruins the card. And I know a lot of you guys have a go at me for picking these before I already have used them if that makes sense but you can just tell if you use alvaro morata he's still going to be a quality player don't get me wrong but when you compare him to even last week's ones like you know vinicius or even anton griezmann they will feel a lot better than alvaro morata because this game is all about tight dribbling and turning and stuff like that and alvaro morata just won't be able to do that hence why i'm going to put him in the it's okay i guess category i think maybe I might bump him up one more just because Spain are probably going to do quite well in this tournament. Just feels hella clunky. And speaking of hella clunky, this boy's YouTube channel is doing absolutely stinky at the moment, boys. And it would really mean a lot to me if you could leave a like on the video. Comment down below who's your most excited player out of all of these. And if you say Grealish, you're getting banned. So don't say Grealish. And if you're new around here, please, please leave a subscription on the channel. It does help me out massively. Um... I might follow a couple of you guys back on Twitter if you prove to me that you subscribed on my Twitter. So, uh, link's in the description of that as well. Oh, damn. Joseph Martinez. He's up next. Four star, four star, five foot seven. I am. Oh, this one looks like he might be quite good. Please have high agility and balance. Oh, my God. He's got 99 agility and balance. This card is going to feel absolutely phenomenal. He's going to link to my team in the season. Alison Drini. Perf well, not perfectly. He's going to give an orange link. I'm going to put him in fun. I might even say God tier. The only reason why I'm not is because Venezuela, A, and B, um, he's in a crap league for links and stuff like that. But uh, with icons and etc. and all these other colors. And 7 chemistry still feels the same as 10 in my opinion. And next is Genie Wijnaldum. I'm looking at this card. This card, by the way, I just want to say, I think he's been one of the best players of the Euro so far over the two games I've seen. He's just been Holland's like, magician. He's just been really good for Holland. Um, now, looking at his card here, I think it's probably going to be... Oh, actually, what I'm thinking about, Holland have already played two games. Is this card going to get an upgrade if it, if Holland win their next game as well? Because if not, that's a bit sketch, to be honest. But if he does get an upgrade after the next win, they'll be good. Plus, they're playing North Macedonia. He's going to get a plus two. He's going to have all 90 stats, I think. He's going to be a fun card. I don't think he's God tier. He might even be decent, if I'm being honest. Oh, God. Uh, somewhere, Danny Aarons is currently in his bathroom trying to tug one out. I'm telling you that for a fact right now. Lucas Klosterman has got a path, to the, a path to glory card. It is for Germany, like I very much said for Havertz. And who was the other German that we had? Um, Nabry. Yeah. Like, Germany, they've already lost one game. They might beat Portugal, but they will should beat Hungary anyways. Um, Germany might do quite well in this tournament. I'm not too sure about that, but... He is absolutely rapid. So I think for that alone, he's not God tier. He's very close to God tier. He's in the fun category, in my opinion. Oh, see, I love cards like this. Ante Rebic. Now, Croatia haven't won any games in the Euros. They're currently right now playing Czech Republic. I don't know the score of that game right now. This would be a card I'd use. He's not meta. I'm just looking. Oh my God, agility and balance is 87 and 80. I'd love using this card, but I don't think he's going to be meta. I don't think Croatia are going to do as well as people say they are. They might get just three wins. Oh my God. You know what? I put this card in and I didn't even clock it. It was Alexis. Sanchez I don't know why Jesus H Christ on a crutch this card him and Bolly oh my god Bollingoli and Alexis Sanchez up top would be fantastic four star school moves three star weak foot's a bit of an issue I'm not gonna lie to you I've seen Alexis Sanchez play over the years four star minimum he does not have 99 agility and balance they've done this wrong 
He does. Thank you very much, EA, for listening to me. Get a round of applause for EA. And take it back, because they're a bunch of rats. He is a phenomenal card. And he's got 94 aggression. I don't know why I love that stat so much. That's a phenomenal card. That's a phenomenel card. He's going into the fun category. Leandro Paredes playing right back for PSG. This is an interesting card. I'm assuming Argentina are going to do well in Copa America. I'm going to be real with you. I don't have a clue what's going on with Copa America right now. Four star, four star. I like when center mids get moved to fullbacks and then vice versa when fullbacks get moved to center mid. They usually get really, really good cards. He looks like he's got a quality card. Um, you could even play this guy center back. Oh my God, this card as a center back would be nutty. Right, four star, four star. What's his agility and balance saying? For a fullback, is not bad. Just a better Zanetti. And yes, that is because he's Argentinian. He's going to go into the decent category. He looks pretty decent. Hence why he's in the... Jesus Christ, Danny. <laughs> now, Lucas Hernandez, centre-back. I am pretty sure this is an objective card. France are more than likely going to get a plus two. Maybe even go all the way and win it. So this card could be absolutely insane. For a free card, you can't go wrong, really. And that's why I'm going... Oh, he's just made, it, made another line. He's into the fun category. I think I'm okay with this. I really am. He's back, everybody. It's Edward Militao. Medium high, six foot one. Jesus Christ, this card is just going to be unreal. Brazilian as well. I'm assuming Brazil are going to do quite well in the Copa America. Like I said, I don't have a clue about the results so far, but I'm assuming they've won at least one game. Um, he looks amazing. The only reason I'm not going to put him in God tier is because I put Klosterman in the fun category. So I'm going to put Eder Militao in there too. Like I said, let me know in the comment section. I'm not too sure. Oi, my man, Ben Chilwell. Let's go. Has he got... No, we still got three star, three star, but high, high absolute beast england have already won a game they're gonna play scotland in about 45 minutes so that's really really good they should win that game too and then they just gotta beat czech republic they he should he should be a 95 rated card maybe even 97 play him at center back you're loving life he's five foot ten so he's not small he looks oh that is probably really biased actually now to think about it he's not as good as i'm making him out to be but I'm going to put him in the decent category. Now, that's hard for me because I'm a Chelsea fan. We all know that. I should really be putting him in the god tick. <laughs> oh, no. I realized why I didn't do that. Because we have Eden Hazard. Uh, by the way, links to Eder Militao. So, psh, for that alone, I should really be moving Eder Militao up to the god tier. Eden Hazard, one of my favorite players on this game. Never really used him too much. I've used him for about maybe 30 games in my whole FIFA 21 career. Um, 5 foot 9, 4 star, 4 star. Stamina is 97, agility and balance is 99. And I don't think it's wrong to say that he's God tier. I really don't. I think Eden Hazard is going to have a phenomenal card. And if you get him, you, you're so lucky. Boy, man, like cheeky Nandos. Let's go. He's 5 foot 8, high, high. 3 star, 3 star is a bit of a. Um, yikes, but no good links with Cagliari apart from to Rajanine Golan's flashback card if I'm not mistaken Uruguay are a good team. So maybe he will get a plus two um, Syria midfield good as well. Uh, he got some really nice stats He's gonna feel incredible in the center mid position even CDM He's gonna feel mental because of how small and how good his agility and balance is But he's definitely gonna be one of the cheaper ones I think he's gonna have a really really nice card and if you use that card, you'll know what I mean He's gonna feel like team of the year Kimmich now see this card scares me France are gonna go so far in this competition and he's already at 95 France need to win two more games and he goes to a 97 and then a 98 and then a 99 and then he gets five star five star Is he gonna be the best card on this game? Probably let's have a look. Oh his agility and balance is too low man Saying that though, he's still got an incredibly well-rounded card. This card looks bloody phenomenal. I'm going to put him into the God tier category. I think he is that good on this game. And like I said, France are going to do really well. So the chances of him getting an upgrade are extremely high. And then we get to Jack Grealish. Right, I have to put my bias aside. I hate this man. I really do. Not as much as I hate Declan Rice. Imagine if this was Declan Rice. Oh my god, I'd be jumping out my window. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot. Not bad. I don't know how much his SBC costs. I'm trying so hard to be as unbiased as I possibly can be. He's not got a uh, finesse shot trait. He has a decent card. He really does. For a winger, he's going to feel really, really nice in this game, I reckon. And England are probably going to get an upgrade. I think he's going to be really good. I'm going to put him into the decent category. And you know me. You know, I'm as Irish as they come. To put Jack Grealish in decent hurts. And then we move on to Joe Felix. Jesus H. Christ, man. Why did they do this? Portugal have already got one game, one under their belt. They do have to play France and Germany still. Joe Felix is another one of these cards that even his normal cards still to this day feels incredible. I always thought he had five star weak foot because he could just score with any foot. He's, this is a really nice looking card. Um, It could be a bit faster maybe, but he's, he's just banging. Is he God tier? Yes, just easy. And then last but not least, it's Bobby Firmino. He's the same thing. Uh, he's five-star skill, he's four-star weak. Foot high, high, 5'11". Plays for Liverpool as well, so you can link him to Genie Wijnaldum if you need to. Agility and balance is quite good as well. 
Brazil probably going to get an upgrade, very much like Paul Pogba. He's starting off with a 95, so going up to a 97, potentially 98, 99. We could have a 99 Roberto Firmino on FIFA 21. How mad is that? Has he got any good traits? Not really. He looks really nice. I don't think he's as good as people are probably going to talk about him and say he is. But I still think he's going to feel really, really nice. He's not going to be one of the best players on this game. He's going to be a great player. But still, he's going to be absolutely meta. I really do think he is. Anyways, guys, this is my tier list. Let me know what you think um, of my suggestions. Like I said, Militao and Klosterman might be the only two I'm kind of umming and ahhing about. Maybe I should move them up or whatever. But uh, that's for you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? Have I done a good job? If I haven't, let me know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this, boys. Uh, if you pack any of these cards, let me know so I can ban you like I've already said. See you in the next video. I wanted to show this off, by the way, this t-shirt. This is a blackout Shamrock Rovers polo. It's absolutely lovely. And it makes me look fire. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.